Hello, this is Tim Bivens with the Automated Technology Coach. Today we're going to learn how to use CMAP software. CMAP stands for Concept Map. And this does much the same thing that a software program called Inspiration does. But it is open source and free. Um, this is great for use in brainstorming, creating graphic organizers for your students, or having them create their own graphic organizers so that they can better understand a concept. So the first thing we need to do is download CMAP. The easiest way to find it is just to go to Google and type CMAP. In your results, it should be the top result. Um, the download page for it is the second result. Um, later on, we'll go back to the CMAP homepage. Right now, we'll go straight to the download page. Here is where you are able to download CMAP. The first time you download it, you do have to register for it. Um, but any prior any subsequent attempts to download it, you just have to put your email address in there. And since I've done this before, I'm just going to put my email address in there. Um, you'll need to check your operating system here. And I'm on a Mac, so I will choose Mac. Now you're actually on the download page. Um, you need to find your operating system. More than likely you're on a Windows machine, but you may be on a Mac. And if you're on an older version of Windows, you'll probably want to use this top one here. Uh, if you're on Windows 7, you'll probably be using the Windows 64 bits. If you're not sure about this, ask your technology person there at your school um, which version you should be downloading. So I am going to go with Mac OS 10. Click on that. Save file. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to stick it on the desktop. Save. Now that it's downloaded, we can click on this, and this will unzip the file, and now it is on my desktop. All right. I'm going to minimize this. Here's the file that was just unzipped. All right. Click on that, and it'll ask you if you actually want to open this because it's trying to be secure and safe, but I do. Say open. All right. Um, say next. Accept the terms. Next. Do the typical configuration. Next. Um, just do the default install. Next. Um, you can change this if you want to in the dock on the desktop on your home folder. I'm going to put it in the dock. Next. Then it reviews all the settings and you can install. And now we are installing. And installation is complete. versions of it. And now CMAP is running. Excellent. 
The first time you run it, however, you will have to put in your um, username and create a password. This is for so this is in order to create shared maps. All right, you can share maps with people all over the world. Um, this is an international program, and it's pretty interesting. But we will get into the tools next time. Um, I just wanted to show you how to download and install CMAP for now. Um, so until next time, this is Tim Bivens with the Automated Technology Coach. Thank you. See you then.